while PL. With these sort of lineups, you only really have the epicenter and kind of the battle fury aspect of the juggernaut. There's not a whole lot of good cleave options here against the phantom monster, so it feels okay. It kind of ensures that they will have a bit better late game. It always looks cooler if you save your skill points, I think. It's just, you're just showing off for the fans, right? Like, okay. I don't need my spells just yet. Uh, when, when, it, when it's required, mid lane. Oh, yep, so. I'm just to stand close. There will be the homing missile on to mid one. TP support was there from Baboka, but that's a haste rune. Yapsaw, another Shadow Wave off cooldown in half a second time. They're grouped on both sides. The damage, Yapsaw and mid one combined together. So mid one gets the double kill. Rocket Barrage, Shallow Grave, <laughs> TP. No way to stop him. Mid one goes all the way home. I think Dazzle's a concept. Like, you just want to buy a lot of cheap build up items and just sort of keep running around the map, spamming your spells. Yeah. Is that like when you, uh, like, Solar Crest? Maybe mm. another, another nice option for him. Mid one's got homing missiles on the back. He'll take the stun. XSS does not want to come into this. Yeah, so. Well, he's got the invis room. Baboka does not want to stay close either. They're just waiting. Not by a strike and then a three way shadow worth. Uh, worth. Word. Can't even stop that. Yapsaw chasing down Q. They had the Observer Ward that gave them all the information for it. Yapsaw's just going to keep the body block going. Rolling Boulder forward. Aggressive joining the fight too. The kick is half decent. Puppy will go down. Yapsaw wants this kill. He's got Barra Strike up now, so he'll find the kill. And he'll get away to safety. Baboka doesn't have Rolling Boulder forward, so aggressive. Has to Phantom Rush forward. Four points up in that, so he wants to close the distance quickly. Baboka able to do the same type of thing. And the fighter then takes both the bounty runes, but aggressive gets the double kill. Oh, it's like Fada and Yapsa are on bottom. Q. Feels like he could be aggressive. He hung around just a little bit too long. Fada needs to hit him once to get that curse. The slow. Yapsa can then get in front of him. And then underneath the tower with the shield. They start with the shackles. Yapsa shield it off. Now aggressive. Wants to go for the kill to avenge his support. And while Fada's on the front line, they don't want to keep beating into him. He shields up once more. Mid one's in the neighborhood. So Bavoka rolls forward, takes the damage in the shadow wave. Remember, you took the borrowed time from Fada and the kick. Well, all right, even just with Brueling split, they send Dazzle up in towards the air. He does have the Shallow Grave available. Starts with the weave, so the armor starts to rise heavily and aggressive. Knows he has to get out of this one. Doppelgangers back towards the tier one tower. Yamsaw's Barra Strike off cooldown. He's looking for the Brewmaster, misses the target, and now it's Gyrocopter's turn. Cooldown out. Mid one in trouble. The flat cannon damage spilling out to Yamsaw. A quick shallow grave. Dazzle tries to protect himself. A quick heal as well, but it won't be quick enough. Because you also have the plus 75 damage mm -hmm. on the Dazzle right now. I was about to bring that up. <laughs> Again, there. No? Oh, goodbye, puppy. Uh, don't think you really care. Mass Serpent Ward's up on top. This you'll care more about. The Shackles are there. Abaddon breaks free. And with the Mass Serpent Ward still attacking him, up to full life, borrowed time. Ace and mid one all getting rid of these Mass Serpent Wards. So a second wave of wards committed, and the tier one tower still lives. It's not a huge deal. You know, they use a lot of spells for him. He buys the blink, as you said, and secrets really hit their timing. Mid lane, Ace. Running down, they got a Brewmaster, Fiend Script. You gotta go instantly into the Omni Slash if you want this kill. Rolling Boulder forward, Omni Slash is Baboka initiated in. The Brewing Split still comes off, and now it's Team Secret not getting the fight they wanted. Ace with the spin, he at least can kill off Baboka, but where's the support? Ace is gonna go down, the Centaur stomping. I'm not quite certain why he wanted to get involved in all of this. The Aegis will be burned. Now into the Hex, instantly, no chance to spin, no chance to get away. I was actually on cooldown anyway. Aggressive with the double kill. Ace is going to finish his Manta pretty soon. PL also going for a Manta. Gyro has a Sanjin Yasha. Not a huge fan of this sort of game. Oh, Ace is going to get scouted out. Q's in the neighborhood. Ace instantly into the spin. Gyrocop's in the neighborhood. He wants to finish off the Ancients. Healing Ward, a little bit lower. They will get rid of it. Mid one coming over. Gets the Shallow Grave off. Omni Slash is available for the Juggernaut. And he has to just let it rip. That's a level two. Look for the cleave damage as well. Doesn't really have enough. Ace will fall. Baboka committing Magnetize. And they've got more control. Thanks to the Fusal Blade. They can have a crack over on mid one, saving Grace from Puppy Was with the Nightmare, but not enough Grace. Two heroes gone as Aggressive gets more aggressive into Puppy on the trees underneath the tier one tower. And back to back kills, Aggressive with a triple. Fada finding a couple of kills of his own, doesn't have borrowed time anymore. They go for the split, the Burst Right tries to create space, but Aggressive, he gets an ultra kill. He wants the Absorb, did anybody bring detection? They're waiting for it, trying to burn him out. Won't happen. He's got 40 seconds inside of that sandstorm. Yep. 
30 minutes in, 21-12. Still a very close game. Truth. Um, you said Butterfly finished on the Jug, Abaddon or Fata rapidly approaching the Radiance, and when he gets that item, I think it might be go time, but at the same time, Seeker probably feels confident that they can outscale their opponents. Yes, just run it slow. Yamsaw dodges the attack from Bavoka. You also for up and towards the air. Bar Strike's available. Just needs to get out of this damn stun, but he cannot do it. So Yamsaw, he forces a three-man rotation towards the top. <laughs> DD top. Find this, they smoke. Mid one under smoke. Aggressive's coming in for it. And he will get it. But Fiend's crypt up. They want to get the kill quickly into the Omni Slash. And the kick frees him from the bounds. But Aggressive, so hard to run away from all of this. And it will be impossible. Down goes the Phantom Lancer. It has buyback, but you really don't want to use it as your team's hard carry. Although the Gyro has caught up quite well. Yeah, he just needs to dodge any kind of enfeeble from Puppy. Barter and Ace, staring down the tier 2 tower. If they can force the buyback from Phantom Lancer, they'll be very happy with this. Tarman's adding a lot of pressure on the bottom lane, just uh, shocking and pushing. TP is available for him to come back, so IG do have the numbers. Yeah, so it's going to do the same thing up on the top, ready for the creep skip. And Calder. Clean up the wave if possible. XSS already triggered up the flat cannon with that silence. It's good to kill off the Juggernaut, but remember he's still got the Aegis of the Immortal. Spin will protect him from the homing missile as the Brulings are dying way too quickly. They still have the Storm Bruling control, so Fighter up and towards the air. Thinking about shielding off Ace, they focus in and another kick. Four heroes from Baboka and the Shackles onto a baton. He's still got Borrow Time available. Ace breaks free with the Mana Style. Epicenter from Yamsor comes in from the north. Team Secret into the tier 3 towers. Buybacks are coming out. Finally, the PL is going to respawn. He did not have to burn the buyback of a Baroka. Four heroes with the Magnetite rocks it down. And they are rolling through Secret, or are they? Mid one has the Shallow Grave. Ace is back up. The Aegis Immortal burn. Puppy's the only one who's dropping low for Team Secret. But he's still alive in the back lines. Aggressive can't close the distance. He'll be Burrow striked up. Brains has back off corner for Puppy. So he can get more life as aggressive. Jumps on down. Yaps on top of his tail. The Sandstorm cleaning up the illusions. It's here we go. Omni Slash. Ace oh, into the back lines. The perfect jump to the isolated heroes. A triple kill for him. About to make it an ultra. Spin his way through SRF Ultra Kill for Ace! Nice, nice laugh from Fada! Buybacks up for Invictus Gaming. They can keep their mid racks alive, but Team Secret. We'll see. I think Ace just wants to go in through the bottom. He has a double damage rune of Marvel. Holy Spin crap. protection. They have to fortify aggressive. Jumps in on towards Puppy. Trying to really set this up. There's your Fiend script locking in the PL, but they break him free. Boboker again. Right on the money. But Puppy, shallow grave protected in the corner. It's like everyone's falling asleep as the fire splits into multiple parts. Fada stands his ground. Borrow time giving the life back. Here comes your epicenter from Yapsaw. Not a lot of control, not a lot of damage. The Brulings are causing a lot of chaos for Team Secret. They haven't got the kills they want. Aggressive charging himself forward. The Omni Slash wasted on the illusion. Yamso can at least get the Burrow Strike up, but they're not getting the kills they want. Yamso has to hide inside the Sandstorm. It's so crazy to think Puppy is the only one who's died so far. Ace will hold the high ground. The mass open wars won't reach anyone. In fact, the tier 3 tower on the bottom lane is the only thing that's been reached. Yamso will come back to the defend that, but the TPs, they're coming in from Victus Gaming. Out on top of the shrine. Farda can battle with Bobica inside the trees, and that's the one they want, but Farda TP He's out! Team Secret! Actually get out! Scott free! That whole entire fight, it was ES for Bane. It went so long, the team fight recap can't keep up with that. But, yeah. I just don't... I don't know how IG ever can lose their base here. It's just so hard for them. Especially when the shrine top goes down. That's like the best thing to set up for Roche when it comes up. Oh, they already killed Roche. What am I saying? I forgot it died in five seconds just a minute ago. <laughs> Yeah, blink and you can miss it. Rolling Boulder in towards the mid. Bobica wanting to start on the Earth Spirit, but that's uh, on, on the SK, but that's the reason why you're set to Yapsaw. Starts the virus strike, but the damage was enough. Mass left once oh. down by Shalom before it gets mopped up, but it's still a two for one trade off. The Bruling split has gone out. They're going to find Ace to the eastern side of the mid lane. That control, Bobica wants it perfect, but Ace comes down. He gets the spin off the damage output. It is nowhere near enough. As no. long. <laughs> it's like, actually, I say we'll kill everyone. I don't want to take anything for granted. Like, 
Fodder is going to be building into the Octarine. He's just going to be shielding up everybody. You've still got the Weave. You've still got the Shadow Wave. Q, a little bit too far out. Doesn't have four staff on cooldown. And he is actually dead. Has buyback money. Couple of PR illusions being sent in. There's your four staff. Starts the TP. No way. Really Q. Oh, the Shadow Wave. And the attack. Fodder gets oh, the kill. Oh, okay. Yeah, they actually found a target. Aggressive. Breaks free. The defensive weave up from mid one, so the armor is already starting to rise for Team Secret. The call down, trying to clean up as much as they possibly can. Hex under XSS. He's got a lot of flight turn and charges left, but not if he doesn't have the life. The Omni Slash was perfect from Ace. The kick from Bobaka, trying to create more space with the Magnetize turning on. They want to try and get a little bit of a follow up here. There's everyone from Team Secret having their ears ringing from that Magnetize. Apart from maybe Ace, still with Aegis Immortal intact. Farda, ready to fight. Sent up in towards the air, just trying to keep him out. This one, no Brewmaster split for a long time. Aggressive, jumping in, trying to create more. But here's Yapsor with the M10 on Fire Strike. They found their target. It's the PL. Aggressive needs more time, but doesn't have it. And doesn't have buyback available. They have no PL, which means they 100% have no mid rack. But how much more does Invictus Gaming lose? Never ending buybacks. Here comes Bobica once more. He'll get the kick and a quick little silence, but they need Exodus to do the damage. No flat cannon available. The homing missile charges have all run out. Farda can just stand the front lines. Now PL has buyback available. Aggressive into the line. Needs to kill off Poppy. Needs to kill off anybody. If they can find any of these bloody kills, Shackle to control Yapsaw, so at least there's no stuns from him. And the call down for Team Secret. Semily split up Bobica going into the back lines. He rolling bolts, but get fire striked up almost instantly. The kick is there, Yapsaw kept alive by the shallow grave. Team Secret still strong, still fighting. The Hex to keep Fighter out, the fight with the fire strike from Yapsaw. It won't connect. Aggressive had a little bit of time to regenerate. Doesn't want to keep fighting just yet, but he's got no other choice. The homing missiles on the deck, they're all going towards mid one. Only one will connect, however. It's Team Secret cleaning up the mess. Aggressive just has to keep land spamming, forcing Team Secret back to reset. Fata still with the refresher shard. Age is still on mid one. Oh wait, Barra strike. Yapsaw gonna miss. The Fiend's grip holding Bobaker in position. He's been a thorn on the side for Team Secret, but that thorn is now pulled out. Q wants to create space as aggressive. Sends his illusions back into the fight. The Brew Link split is finally back off cooldown, but Yapsaw connects on all three with the Barra strike, keeping the control up. Not I'm to ready. mention the Nightmare to Gyrocopter. He never really got the damage off. Aggressive needs more of himself. They turn towards Fada for borrow time off cooldown. XSS has to get away. The BKB protecting him from the epicenter damage as they go deeper into to the Radiant base to regenerate. Team Secret getting kill after kill, keeping this extended fight going forever. Q can at least hex up Bane, buying time for Aggressive to burn off the rest of his mana and get, get him low, but they can't find the kill. The shields are up from Farda. They instantly break free of the shackles as Ace spinning up, moving back. Homing missiles are again on the chase. They're split between Farda as well as mid one. So the PL illusions, they've kept them dry. And somehow through all of this, Invictus Gaming, yeah, they've burned buybacks, but they've only lost their mid racks. The defenses remain strong for now. Uh, is it enough though is the question. The gyro has to buy back, the brute dies back. Aggressive goes again. Yeah. Jumps in, creates as many illusions as he possibly can, then blinks away and doppelgangers out. Like, Faith, Fada. The whole team ball back actually, Toby. The whole team. Yeah, you line up that, that, that uh, buyback counter, sort of by team, and it is all in the red. So Team Secret will obviously keep forcing the issue. They've got four buybacks available for themselves. And Ace is starting on the bottom lane. You can homing missile charge all you want. Bobaka is waiting for the right time. There goes the spin from Ace. That's what they wanted. Couple of PL illusions out. Ace still protected by the Lotus Orb. But here's your jump in. A perfect call down. And the hit from Bobaka. They roll forward. They want to kill off Ace. But it's just so damn hard. He doesn't even have an Aegis for the Burrow Strike from Yansel. That's the line. And that'll finish the job. Without the Gyrocopter, they just don't have enough. Aggressive knows that GG is the call. Team Secret took them 45 minutes, but they have claimed the game. Just that one fight takes an even game all of a sudden. 12k, Secret's in the driver's seat, and they just had to play away from the Rapier, which never ended up coming up. They win the game.